Hello my beautiful Virgos, thanks so much for stopping by my channel. My name is Goretti. If you're new here, welcome. Happy New Year to you all. I hope you all had a wonderful uh, holiday and breaking in of the new year. So I'm going to do a quick reading, hopefully for uh, January 2023 uh, for you all. And um, take what resonates leave the rest. This is a general reading. Swap uh, roles if you need to. Um, and yeah, this might not be for everybody. So yeah, just take what, re what resonates and leave the rest. And also please hit the bell icon so you get notified of new videos. If you haven't already subscribed, please go ahead and do so. I'd love to have you here. Um, and also share this video. Comment down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. And please, as always, hit that like button, hit the thumbs up because that is the only way that this video gets, um, you know, kind of um, shared around and the only way that people can actually see me and for me to get my messages out there as well. The more that you um, connect with me on my channel here by doing things like liking and sharing, subscribing, um, 11, 11 or 111 on the clock there, um, as I said that, you know, and also you know, like, share, subscribe, comment down below. You do any of those things and what happens is I pick up on your energy and the more I pick up on your energy, the more um, that, you know, I'll be kind of, it, the, these readings will resonate for you, okay? So let's go ahead and get started here. Sorry, I forgot to put the cards away from my last reading there. Let's get started here. All right. Okay, guys, here we go. Messages and guidance, please, for Virgo. Messages and guidance, please, for Virgo. What does Virgo need to know? For January 2023, for Virgo. All right, beautiful. Okay, we have got Moonlight Goddess, Repressed Emotions, Healing, and Reflection. Just going to cover this because YouTube has issues, but... Um, Moonlight Goddess. Okay, so this is, um, you know, definitely about healing how you see yourself, but also healing, you know, emotions and things that you have from your past. And I'm hearing childhood as well. So it could be inner child work you need to do. And I just heard, see yourself through the eyes of a source. Look at her here. She's an angel. That is, that's who you are. Okay, you are a spiritual being having a human experience, okay? All right. Ocean of eternal love, healing, creativity, and fertility. So some of you definitely need to create something. You might have some uh, blockages with your creativity. And the reason is because 313 on the clock there, that means something for someone. Um, this is because there is something within you that isn't healed yet that you really need to address. Okay, and then we have yin, yin and yang. So this is, you know, the yin and yang symbol, light and dark, male and female, um, you know, good and bad, right? So creating harmony through balance. So this is telling me that some of you are needing balance in your life, both on a physical uh, way. So this could be to do with your health, but also, um, you know, mentally, emotionally, spiritually okay needing to balance things out and especially in January most people are kind of working on that you know balance right let's see what spirit animal uh, comes out for you Virgo messages and guidance please always get Virgo messages and guidance messages and guidance please and here we go all right Virgos okay Wow, antelope spirit wanted to come out. Number two means something for someone because the moonlight goddess was number two as well. This one kind of just stuck out. Uh, life is speeding up. So definitely you are moving quickly um, through January here. Um, we have moth spirit, surrender now. So some of you need to release control and really, you know, kind of like give it up to the universe um, and have faith. Have faith here, I just heard. Give up control. <laughs> Trust in divine detours. 
16. This is the number seven card. This is we are in the year seven. Coyote spirit, trust in divine detours. So there's that saying, you know, um, rejection is God's protection, right? So wherever you are guided to, surrender the control, have trust and faith that you are being guided in the right direction. Okay, so if you want to go a certain way and you feel like um, that is, you know, not, um, or if, if you're kind of being directed, detoured away from it. Sorry, guys, I'm trying to talk here. Um, that is definitely Mercury retrograde. But these detours, it's because you're being redirected onto something better, okay? Uh, snake spirit as well, I saw on the bottom there that wants to come out. Nightingale spirit, this is just saying love is all around you. You know, feel that unconditional love coming from the divine, from spirit, from your guides, from your ancestors, from your angels, okay? Whatever it is that you believe in. But snake spirit wanted to come out. You got an extra one. Time to heal. Time to heal. Sorry, guys. Time to heal. You're definitely transforming, shedding your old skin and transforming into someone new. 55 is about changes. You're definitely shifting, changing, and transforming here. And I did want to say that actually when I saw the yin and yang card here with the butterfly. I mean, butterflies have a lot of meaning for me. Butterfly Project is the name of my um, counseling practice. So it's all about transformation. It is you transforming into the person that you are meant to be here. All right, let's get on to your reading here, Virgo. Messages and guidance, please, for Virgo. What does Virgo need to know for January 2023, Virgo? All right, let's see, January 2023. Okay. Some stuck and stagnant energy there. pentacles at the bottom some of you might need to be juggling or are juggling some of you need to really focus on staying in the present moment i just heard okay absolutely absolutely okay there we go yes sorry i just wanted to pull a clarifier card oh and that's the bottom of the deck here Is the messages coming through for you here? Okay. Yep. Okay. So for some of you, there is a message here. Um, I'm just going to show you guys all the cards. You're really, um, you, you've chosen a path. Um, okay, you've chosen a path here, right, with the Two of Wands card towards you know loving and nurturing yourself with the queen of cups many of you are working on your self-worth uh here and you know that inner child work right um really you know um your self-esteem okay your self-worth your self-confidence um really nurturing that part of yourself and that's actually going to be bringing in this uh new love connection here it's abundant, it's loving, it is incredible, this love connection, possibly with a king of wands, male or female, doesn't matter. So definitely this could be possibly, you know, an Aries sign um, or a fire sign, okay, that's coming in. And Tower here is saying that it's going to happen very quickly and suddenly, okay. As part of the reading though here, um, sorry, more. Um, it is going to be a divine union, possibly marriage here for some of you. It's going to be a very romantic thing with the Knight of Cups coming in here. Somebody is offering their love to you and commitment, love and commitment for you. Okay. Sorry, guys, I forgot to grab those cards. So underneath the deck um, for the reading, though, is the Nine of Swords. So some of you are really worried. You're having anxiety. You're having fears, sleepless nights, right? Um, what is it that is bothering you? And I'm seeing a child here. So um, 
you know, these fears that you need to heal, these things, these negative things within you in your subconscious that you need to heal from the Oracle cards here. This is coming from your childhood. So needing to heal possibly the inner child um, and those fears came from that time. Four of Pentacles, you're needing to let go of these fears. You're needing to let go of, um, you know, whatever it is you're holding on to. A lot of it has to do with your belief systems. And I'm hearing surrender, surrender to the divine. Okay. Um, recent past, we have Five of Swords here. Definitely some of you have been going through some difficulties um, here and, you know, with somebody possibly, uh, you know, a toxic uh, person in the past, I am really seeing that sort of truth being, you know, upright like that. This is telling me, you know, possibly needing to really connect to, you know, the truth, um, the truth coming in from, you know, your higher power and the four of swords needing to heal from possibly, you know, a battle that you have gone through. For some of you, you were victorious. Unfortunately, a lot of people got hurt in the process. I just heard um, in the current uh, present moment, that death card, this is that transformation, shedding your skin, you're transforming here. Um, you know, this is very much a Scorpio, this is Scorpio card, right? Um, but you're transforming here, you are changing from that you know, caterpillar into the butterfly here, okay? There's transformation. This is also telling you that there are things coming to an end and new beginnings are here for you, okay? Um, and then we have, sorry, the um, near future is the moon card. So this is telling me that there's possibly secrets or something is coming to light. It could also be within your subconscious, things that are coming up for you this month that you need to heal. And where is it? Sorry, the advice card um, is the nine of wands. So the advice is to persevere, to take that wand. I know you've been through a lot for some of you Virgos, but you need, you, you know, you still have a little bit left in you. You need to take that wand, that brand new passionate beginning, 1222 on the clock. Okay, confirmation for somebody. Um, you need to continue to persevere and move forward. This is the wounded warrior, but you've learned a lot too through this battle that you've gone through. Um, I'm hearing that some of you also need to really rest and recuperate and also guard yourself and defend yourself possibly here. Um, but, you know, continue moving forward towards uh, your passion this passionate new beginning, and uh, I keep hearing perseverance. Your potential outcome is the chariot card. This is yin and yang, right? Light and dark. This is you being able to um, harmonize, right? And balance both of those, okay? This is victory and success as well, and you are moving forward. And when I clarify that, it is the fool card. This is a brand new beginning here, brand new year, brand new month taking a leap of faith and charging forward towards this brand new beginning. Okay, absolutely beautiful. Now let's clarify that. That's just a moment, please, here for Virgo. That's for Virgo. What does Virgo need to know for January 2023? I hope I am loud enough um, to say I'm using my other device. I didn't want to, but I have to. So, but I'm in my office, so I can talk louder than when I'm at home. All right. For a little in one more. Clarifying. All right, there we go. Yep. Needing to um, follow your intuition. You need to connect to that inner part of you. Connect to the divine. Connect to the light. This is where you're gaining your wisdom. For some of you, you are definitely psychic. Um, have psychic abilities, have, you know, some of these gifts, okay? All right, let's see, clarifying. Mm. Wow, okay. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, okay. As I said before, some of you are needing to juggle. Um, the number two card, number two means something to you guys, okay? 
So what we have here is um, really needing to be in the present moment. Some of you also in January are going to need to juggle. I am hearing resources, um, but know that wishes fulfilled. The Nine of Cups is here. Wishes are starting to come in. Um, brand new beginning, right? That leap of faith uh, with the Fool card here. You are rising above these obstacles. Stand your ground. Defend yourself, okay? Um, you're the empress here, okay? So you are creating definitely something. You're birthing new ideas, new passions. Um, yeah. And just kind of clarifying uh, that story there. We have got the queen of swords. You've cut out what no longer serves you, okay? This conflict, um, you know, and drama, you've cut that out and you are moving with the chariot card here. You are moving... Uh, in the direction of your dreams and your desires. You are the empress here. You're abundant. You're creative. You're birthing new ideas, right? You have all four queens uh, in one. 1555 on the clock. So definitely 55 means something for someone. Okay, so clarifying your reading. This is a uh, six of cups. This is telling me definitely soulmate energy coming in for some of you uh, with a love connection, okay? But also this is telling me this person from the past, devil energy, toxic situation, kept you stuck, okay, with the eight of swords here. Eight of wands is here. You need to move away from that. You are moving in a different direction. You're moving towards your desires here, okay? Um, and where are you moving to? The uh, sun card here. You're moving to happiness, bliss, fulfillment, success, victory as well. I'm seeing the six of wands in this card, okay? And some of you definitely creating and birthing something new, all right? And charging full speed ahead the way the horse is here. And when I did clarify uh, the Eight of Wands as your advice card, because that was your advice, the same for you to like just move forward towards your passions, as part of your advice was the Four of Pentacles. There is, you know, uh, something you need to let go of from your past. Could be from your childhood, okay? Um, whatever this toxic toxicity is, this could be thoughts, this could be obsessions, this could be addictions, whatever it is. Um, things that kept you stuck, you know, mentally, these negative thoughts and ideas and belief systems, just like I had said before, okay, could be from your childhood or it's also from a past, you know, possibly relationship or connection that you need to let go of. All right, Virgo, that's all I have for you today. 1744 on the clock there. That means something for someone. Uh, pay attention to the signs and synchronicities I just heard. And thanks so much for being here. This is a great reading for you. Definitely you're working on things in, you know, January and moving forward. Lots of healing for you guys this month. Rest and recuperation. Um, yeah, so again, please don't forget to like this video, hit the thumbs up, um, help me out to get my videos out there. That's the only way that people are going to actually see them, uh, with the algorithm. So thank you so much for those, uh, that are doing that for me. I truly appreciate you. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to this channel, um, hit the bell icon so you get notified of new videos as well as my lives and, um, share this video with anybody you think might like to see it. Comment down below and know that when you do all of these, like, share, subscribe, comment, that your energy, it, you are connecting with me uh, on a deeper level. And so these messages uh, will start to resonate with you more. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Absolutely beautiful. Happy New Year, uh, Virgos. Thanks so much for being here. I wish you all peace, love, light, and prosperity in the new year. Until next time, bye-bye.